gentlemen. How are you? Very good, very good, thanks. What have been the, what have been the things you've been most concerned about when watching Duke on film? Well, uh, their tempo is extremely fast. Uh, they do a great job of that. I think in the Miami game, they were, I think they had almost 50 plays before halftime. So uh, the tempo, they do a great job, so we're gonna have to be able to handle that. Uh, and they're just really good at what they do. You know, Coach Cullcliffe, you know, going against him back in, when he was at Ole Miss, you know, um, very sound in everything they do. Uh, a very physical team. And they're just, uh, they're very, very rarely in the wrong place. So, you know, they're just very well coached and they play extremely hard. So, you know, all the things that you really want you know, out of your team, they do it. They're sound, they play hard, uh, and then the tempo, you know, gives you an added, you know, dimension that you have to really pay attention to. How do you explain the success of the defense? Really, it seems like they're Yeah, I'm proud of them. Uh, we haven't played perfect, um, but I think that, you know, there's been some times where we've really uh, been able to be effective and make plays. Uh, they work at it. And that's the, that's the main event. Uh, you know, they work at it every day. Every day they come out here and work. Today they came out here and work really hard. I think it's very important to them. And, you know, I think you've got some guys that pay attention to details and they study the game. So uh, just really proud of how they've progressed, you know, since we got here. Uh, and uh, like to see them make some, make some more plays when they have the opportunity, when the ball hits their hands. You know, we talk about that. You know, ball hits hands, we catch ball, right? <laughs> you know, that would be the main event. So, um, but that hadn't happened, you know, every time. So we're, we're, we're working on that. But they, but they're in the right spots most of the time. Uh, and they, they're very conscientious of, of being, you know, good at their trade. Well, this you, it. When you were breaking them down on film, did you think this kind of thing was possible? Even like, this kind of level? Uh, when I was breaking... You were watching the film from last year. Oh, oh, oh I got you. Um, you know, I, I really... I didn't really jump to a lot of conclusions. You know, I really wanted to wait and see, you know, for myself. And again, you know, even going back to when we first got here, uh, I think there was a high, a high care factor. And usually when that's the case, you know, you have a chance to be good. And so I think the whole group has that. Uh, and, and again, I think the, you know, kind of the coverages that we're running, I think they have a great feel for, which is big. And that, I think the, I think as the weeks go on, they get a, a greater comfort level with our defense, if that makes any sense, because it's just built up accumulated reps. The guys have, guys have talked about having each other's backs a lot this year, which wasn't always the case a year ago. I know you weren't, weren't obviously here, but it's been a theme. The defense, some of the guys I talked to, took a lot of pride in the fact the other night after the block punt that they had their backs and only a, they only got a field goal right. out of that. Yeah. That is a sign, I think, of what you're talking about, the care factor and the growth and all that other stuff. It is, and I think there's things that have shown up periodically over the year besides that as well. Uh, we haven't always played great, uh, but we found ways to kind of rally around each other, uh, make some stops when we needed to make stops, you know, in really kind of in timely fashion. Uh, we've had, you know, we've had some really good games playing down in the red zone. You know, when we talk about red zone defense, you know, you're going to see a lot of stats that say, you know, how many times did they score when they were down there? That's not what we count. We count how many times they scored touchdowns because that's the name of the game of red zone defense. So, you know, there's been times when our backs have been against the wall and we've made some stops with some red zone defense. So, uh, but last night was a good case in point that, you know, we needed to stop at that point. Uh, and it was a momentum changer if we didn't. Uh, and those guys were able to do that. So, you know, I think the whole team's, Everybody's playing for each other, and it's complimentary football right now, you know, with offense, defense, and special teams. What does MJ Stewart kind of bring to your defense? It's almost like a different defense when he goes back. Is there anything he does in particular that makes him so good? He's just a, he's a good football player. Uh, football means a lot to him. It means a lot for him to be, to be good at his trade, so to speak. Um, you know, he's one of those guys that comes out here. Every day you come out here to work, he's working. I mean, he's never taken me. If you watch him on special teams, he's working. He never takes any down off. He makes plays in practice. You watch him, and I, I've showed it to the defense. I showed them practice plays where he's making plays. Because a lot of people think you can just do it on Saturday. You can't just do it on Saturday. It doesn't happen that way. You are what you repeatedly do. Well, he repeatedly makes plays in practice, which puts him in a position to make plays in the game. So 
you know, again, it's a product of him caring and working, and, and he's just a good football player. Too. What have you seen out of Jalen Dalton? Kind of, he's getting a lot more experience, obviously, than you need him the last couple of weeks. Yeah, really proud of him. Really proud of him. Uh, it's 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 uh, on the job training. It's on the job learning for him. Um, since we told him we were going to have to pull his red shirt, he's probably put on seven or eight pounds already. Trying to play down inside there, he gets better every day as he works at it. I'm, I'm proud of him. He's got a long way to go. He's a big, tall guy. He plays too high sometimes. Uh, but he'll learn as he goes, and I think he's going to be a really good player. Coach Fedora said that with the Brian Walker gone, there's about 40 snaps that need to be replaced there. Uh, J.K. Britt, earlier in the year he was on the field a lot. Is this an opportunity for him to get back on the field more and kind of get back to where he was? Well, J.K.'s not really... Uh, JK's not really in that position, you know. Because of the way the things are going to are things going to shuffle around cuz that's what I was told things are going to shuffle so. Uh, I mean, not not at the safety position now. Yeah, it'll, be more, it'll be more in the nickel. There could be anybody moved nickel or anything and like dime that scenario. Okay. Yeah, there'll be more now. When you had when it just seems to me like watching these guys last year that, that their eyes are maybe in the in the secondary or doing a better job of you know, seeing where they're, you yeah. know what I mean, being in yes. position, but also watching where the yes. ball is going. That they're not having it thrown over their shoulder with their heads turned the other way all the time. Is that is that? Am I accurate with that? And is that something you have to teach specifically, or is it just foundation? Yeah, I, I hope that they're getting. I, I think they're getting better at that. Yes. Um, you know, when you're in position to make plays, then you can look for the ball. If you're out of position, you can't look for the ball because you're going to get beat. So I think they're putting themselves in position to make plays. Therefore, they can look for the ball.